let us read our text for this afternoon, which shall be found in 1 John chapter 1. Verses 1 to 5. Let me read. First John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. Verse 5, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaimed to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. This is God's word. You may be seated. So praise God. Indeed, he is faithful. If ever we are here right now, worshiping in this beautiful place, enjoying the fullness and fellowship with one another, it is all because of the grace of God, the goodness of God, His faithfulness towards us. And one of the ways that God manifests His faithfulness to us is by spiritually feeding us with His Word. So this is a wonderful privilege and opportunity to eat the bread of life, which of course refers to Jesus and also refers to his word. Because the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Okay. So every Sunday afternoon, Unless I am not here and someone preaches from another passage, we are actually studying the book of First John. And if you were here two Sundays ago, you will remember that our message was about the fact that God is the message. In other words, again, emphasize na to na ang Biblia, ang mensahe, it just ang Biblia, ang maayong balita is not primarily about us. Hindi kitaya ang hero sa Bible. Ang hero sa Bible ang ginoo. And that's why we emphasize last time, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Ang muna katahong balas ang kamaturan na arata sa verse 5 sa 1 John, kay nagambal na siya. And this is the message that we have heard among the nabatian, among the mensahe na gintudlo sa among sa among ginoo. Amo mani ang mensahe na mapasahan mo sa Biblia. And the message is God. Siya gintya ang sentro sa Biblia. Siya gintya ang unod sa mensahe sa kaluwasan. And we emphasize that because, you know, I have been very frank about some of my concerns as to what is happening in modern Christianity, nga kisa, nga notisar ko, nga ang atong worship, I'm not specifically pointing to any particular church, ha? in general, na notice ko that we are becoming man-centered. Nga dapat, God-centered kita. Kaya ang Biblia is God-centered mo. Now, some of you might ask na kinanglanon gid naton ma-recapture ang focus na dapat ginuo gid sa sentro. Okay. Daniel 11:32. Very important verse in the Bible. I do not know what translation you are using, 
Ah, okay. It's King James? Okay. It's all right. Pero diriya sa ESV, although tapo mo lang ang translation, the people who know their God shall stand firm and take action. Ang mga katawahan na nakahibalugit niya at nakahinsindi kung sino ang Diyos, sila niya ang magi- magiging mabakod sa ila kabuhi. And they will be able to act. May kusog sila. Kag sa ila pagpangabuhi, they can really be confident, they can stand firm and do the will of God because in the first place, insakto ang ila paghabot kung sino ang ginoo. And I've pointed to you last time, you have you have to pardon my idiosyncrasies, no? Is ami pagkasarkastik ko eh. And the reason I am like that is para to drive home the point. Naghambal ko last time, if you remember, ang problema sa atong subong is many Christians are treating God as if He were Santa Claus. Di ba? Nga He is just someone nga mabatong ka lang yari gago halin sa iya. And that's it. Now, what I want to happen, Tane, especially sa dako nga pariklio nga ginatag sa ito, o nga maka-worship kita ni sa Buena Park, and I believe it is God who has put this desire in our hearts, what I want to happen, Tane, is to promote reverence for God. Uh, are you following? Reverence for God? Kay Machagok is, ah, we are taking God for granted eh. That is not supposed to happen. If we are the people of God, kaya tungod in bakon ta si Kristo Isos bilang atong personal nga manluluwas, then the center of our life should be God. The message is God. And if we have that correct understanding ng ang ginuwaya, hindi Santo Claus, kundi Diyos, you understand what the word God means? Then that means we act with reverence, with fear towards God. Iniya, reverential fear, ha? with love towards God, obedience towards God. Hindi na sila niya nga himuon kasi siya genie or Santa Claus sa atong kabuhi nga he's just good if he can give us what we want. That's not it. He's God. So humble sa, this is the message which we have heard and proclaimed to you. God is light. Actually, three parts ni ang ini nga mensahe. Part 1, subong part 2, and part 3, God willing, next Sunday. So we have to have a correct understanding of God because may practical implications din. I have just pointed out to you ang practical implication. Magsala lang ang imo paghangop sa ginoo, ang pag-insindi mo sa iya. If you think of, his, of him as Santa Claus, ang guha sina ang ginadyos mo kaya, hindi Diyos kundi ikaw galingon mo. Ang Diyos siya, instrumental lang. He becomes just a means to satisfy your desires. That's why we have to have a correct understanding of God. Pero ari ay, basi may magampal ang iban. Bawat ibot silingon sina, wala na gid kita ya binibisyo makuha sa Ginoo. Kay ti God is the center, is that what you're No, hindi. No. Actually, if you read the Bible, the Bible says God is for us. Di ba lang magtugo ko sa iya? Eh tapos bisan ato na lang yung gin point out ko last time nga Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. But sila mo, mabilitis yung hanggit kita ya, dalagit kita ya. I am not saying that we are completely out of the picture. I am not saying that we should not expect blessings from God. In fact, I believe nga if you really trust God, and if you really love Him, you should. But I'm saying, first things first. Dali lang yan ha? Psalm 90 verse 14. I think it's verse either 4 or 14. I'm not sure, no? Pero there's a verse there na nagahambal, I think, ang samis, nagapangamuyo siya, satisfy us with your love in the morning. Put sa lingon, nagatungod, may tungod, nagasalig siya sa ginoo, nagayaw siya sa ginoo, ginoo, big tagahay mang ko satisfaction. So it is not wrong. Ari, I, I want to be very clear. Yes, God is God is at the center. But it does not mean that you will not ask satisfaction from God. Kay actually, kung naiintindihan mo lang ang tagliposuon sa Ginoo, God is more willing to bless you than you are to be blessed. God loves us more than we love ourselves. Pero galing kay first things first. 
God is at the center, siya bigyan mo na hon, we are beneficiaries. Hindi kita ya ang Lord, hindi kita ya ang God. If ever God satisfies his our desires, it is because he is generous, he is gracious, he is loving, he is compassionate, pero hindi mo siya ya himuon genie. Amo ba nang point ko eh? Do, do you know what a genie is? Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Rub rub rub. Genie comes out, free wish. Oh, amo ni gusto ko, amo ni gusto ko. I mean, is that how we treat God? No. Pero you know what? Grabe ka diyang ginoo. Don't you know that the Bible says, wala ka pa ya ka pangayo? Kabalo na siya ya sang ginahat, sang kinanglanon mo. So, trust God. Trust God, but do not make him Santa Claus. So there are just a few things here. Actually, I'm just trying to expound the truth nga natunan natun that the message is about God. God is the center. And I just like to give you a few what is this? A few basic truths about God nga ginatudlog sa Biblia. Who is God? Sino video ba lang Diyos? Ano video ba lang Diyos? Well, I've already given you number one. God is actually for us. Bawa ka dako ginagabutan nga pasalamatan ta. I mean, to be very frank about it, does God need us? He does not need us. He did not have to create us. He did not have to make this world and give up and provide for our needs and all that. He did not have to, you know, make all these things for our enjoyment and provision. But he did it anyway. But he does not need us. But in spite of that, God is for us. Kagin pakita niya gidna when he gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for our sins. So that we will not perish but have everlasting life. So wala na na question nga God is for us if you put your trust in Him. Wala ko na iya gina-question. So what am I questioning? Okay. In our understanding of God, ginmensyonan ko na ni, recognize that God is for you, but do not, do not use and manipulate God. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. His, uh, ang gakatabo, God is so generous, He gives us gifts. Listen, my brothers and sisters, na notisar ko, mas palangga pa nato ng gifts kaysa sa giver. That is the problem. That is the problem. Nga, because God is someone who is gracious, He gives us everything we need, His uh, ang heart nato is taken up more with the things God gives Then with God Himself, things up to na pala, mga utod ko. And this is where, actually, makibot ka mo, our topic is supposed to be First John, New Testament. But actually, madigress kita subong sa Old Testament sa Book of Job. Dali lang yun ni. I want us to examine kung ano ang natabok sa kabuhi ni Job, although kabalo, most of you kabalo naman si ni. Basi mamangkot ka mo before I go on nga a ah, book of Job how because kung basahon mo gitang book of Job ang isa ka leksyon nga makuha mo gida is God is teaching Job and us that he wants to be loved for his own sake ang gusto sang Ginoo palangga mo siya because of who he is not because of the things he can give you and the blessings he can pour out upon you I mean, to be sarcastic once again, ha? as I said, pasensya ko ako, ha? but when I preach, I want to be myself, tani mo. No, I do not want to be someone else. This is how I preach. And I hope God will use me as I am. <clears throat> Don't parihas lang na nga nangasawa ka. Hindi tungod nga palangga mong baye, kundi manggaranon siya. Is that it? Is that how we What is this? Treat God and love God. May mag mayara naman niya may iba, may mayara may man niya iba nga gabal. Di wala man ay duro kaso nga palangga mo siya at the same time manggaranon siya. Grabe nga losot no, di makalusot na siya yan. Ten pa man ang ako niya counter dere sa muna klase nga sa bata mo nimo. Very simple. 
How sure I am? How sure are you that you really love her? Testing on Tabe. Abi kung mamigado siya, abi mo bankrap ni Bosyon niya. Will you still love her? Amo man sa Ginoo. Okay, God gives you all these blessings. All you want, all you need. Gasun gulti lang for some reason. Hindi lamang nga hindi niya maghihatag ang ginapangayon mo. Di kwa niya ang arang na daan sa imo. Ang pamangkot subong, talagaon mo man siya giyapon, saligan mo man siya giyapon, sundon mo man siya giyapon, dirak di niya matistingan ang pagtuo mo kag pagtalaga sa ginoo. Balik kita kay Job. O ka muna lang sabat. Nga si Job ang aton ginaistoryahan subong. Because that is what happened to him. Di ba na? Hindi na lang ko di mag-cite sa mga, mga verses because I think you're familiar with the story. From memory na lang. Ano na tabo? Nagkato si Satanas. Na, <laughs> ambot ko nga kung paano ni natabo. Nagkilip anay si Satanas kagang Diyos sa langit. Kagdat pustahan ay. Grabe no? Hindi ko na lang pag-explicar na. Hambal sang ginoo pagkakita niya kay Satanas. O. Oh. Kitaan mo tong akon alag- alagat nga si Job. Have you seen my servant Job? He fears me. Palangga niya kid ko. He's very faithful. Ano sa bat ni Satanas? Palangga ka man lang na iya because you put a hedge around him. Kwa abalang hedge. You know what a hedge is? The prote- defense pala? The, the protection? Palangga mo. Palangga ka man lang na iya kay tungod nga di protect siya. In protectionan mo man siya kudo paab lang protection and you know the rest of the story hambal sang ginoo call okay i will remove the hedge what happened basically all his properties were demolished di ba remember that tanan nga pamidad gin kawat gin ano to gin gin lightning an gin ano pa to but what is worse I'm, I'm sorry, g- g- na-destroy, na-demolish ang iya mga propidad. Everything he owned, basically. But what is worse, even his children were killed. Everything was taken away except for his nagging wife. I do not know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But anyway, anyway, Why did God do that? God was trying to teach us a lesson. He was trying to teach us through the example of Job. Ang natakong gini ng example of, of Job. Nga dapat kung magsalig ka mo sa akin, kag kung mag, magsunod ka mo sa akin, kag kung palangga niyo with ko, you have to love me for who I am and for, not for the gifts that I bestow to you. Kag hambal ni Job, hambal niya da, no? sa Job 2, 9 to 10, right? Job chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. What does the Bible say? Katahong si Neo. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast your integrity? Curse God and die. Ginahambang niya sa asawa ni Job after nga ang ginimo ni Satanas hindi lamang nga ang propidad na uh, dulat, hindi lamang nga ang kabuhit sa kabataan, ginpuha, kundi hasta ang lawas ni Job, ginhalitan. Remember that? He was inflicted with sores all over his body, kaghambal sa kasawa niya. And this might be the reason nga agin bilin sa ginawa ang kasawa. Wala rin ko ha. Kay part of the trial, may siya ganit, hambal sa kasawa niya. Sa kay Job, curse God and die. Now, Don't be unfair to the wife, ha? Don't think nga, grabe man po ang asawa ni Job. Ginambalan niya si Job nga, curse God and die. Okay, sa lahat nito yung ginubras ang asawa ni Job. But I think, and some of the commentators agree, uh, say this also, ang tag-episode sa asawa, generally, ordinarily, para gid sa yabana. Okay, di ba? Sa nakitaan niya nga grabe ang pag-antos ni Job, kag wala mang yapon si Job ga reklamo sa Ginoo siya na lang kay kung si Job makagwanta siya ya hindi niya kagwanta 
Ang naging bala niya si Job, curse God and die. Pero anong sabat ni Job? Anong sabat niya? Okay, verse 10, Job chapter 2. You speak as one of the foolish women would speak. Shall we receive good from God and shall we not receive evil? Grabe na yung versikulo. In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Liwat kung kung yun ang bali Job ha? I will put it into the vernacular. I will paraphrase it. Ang buhos ni ni Job ang unin. Mabaton lang kita ya sa kaayuhan halin sa ginoo. Hindi kita ya magbaton sa kalainan. Dalom ng versikulo. What is Job saying? Job is saying, Diyos na siya ya. I recognize the fact that He is God. And God is free to do whatever He wants simply because He is God. And if I love Him, and if I trust Him, then I will surrender to the God who is God. Because He is God, I am not. Nga ako yung madikta kung paano magdalaga ng kabuhi ko. Why will I be the one to govern my life? Why will I be the one to decide how my life will turn out? I will just do my duty, I will obey God, I will do my part, but God will be the one to decide. Why should we receive good from God and not evil? What does that mean? Job is saying, God is God. I love Him, I recognize Him, but I love God. And who is God? God. Who is God? God is God. What does that mean? He is sovereign. He is free. He is all wise. He is all powerful. He is the only one who has the right to decide what ever will happen. Not me. Now, I said a while ago, you have to have a correct understanding of God. Because if your understanding of God is that He is not really God, but He is someone who is subservient to your wishes and desires, ang gwa siya na, kung hindi mo makuha ang gusto mo sa ginoo, you will become bitter. And that is why so many people are bitter. Why? Because their conception and understanding of God is wrong. God is sovereign. And when you say you trust Him, trust Him even when you don't understand Him and not only trust, love Him. It is, uh, you know, I, I'm speaking from my heart, huh? The problem is, Kisa, okay, Joshua, tipala siya eh, but you speak it with bitterness? That is not surrender. That is not loving surrender to the will of God. That is, how do you, how, that is silly season. Nagahambal ka lang na, I surrender because wala ka sang may nahimo. Salama na di ako, surrender na bala to the will of God. Nga naghambal ka ate, bahala na ginawa kung ano gusto niya. Amo na! Is that the right attitude? That is a grudging surrender. That is not real surrender. Surrender to the will of God in recognition of the fact that God is God is sincere, Lord. I trust you and I love you. I surrender, not because nga wala na ko sang may mahimo, but because I know and I believe that you love me, even when I don't understand what's happening to me. Amuna nga, frankly, my brothers and sisters, I do not like the kind of language nga. Sige na lang, bahala na lang ang ginoo. Okay, kung amuna gusto niya, tiyamuna eh. As I said, I'm speaking from my heart, but this is biblically based. If you do not have a right understanding of God, ang gwa sina, you will become bitter because sooner or later, ang gina-expect mo, hindi matabo. Tagdas, gason, either basulon mo ang ginoo o basulon mong kaugalingon mo. Nga, ay, ginpangayo ko ni isang ginoo, hinihimo ko naman ang tanan. Pero wala ginatag. Either ang ginuubot ni Gon or kulang ang tuo ko. Well, actually, hindi sila nga kulang ang pagtuo mo. Sala ang pagkinsindi mo sa ginoo. You think of him as Santa Claus. Well, actually, he is the sovereign and all-wise and all-loving God. 
kakinanglan kinanglan may intindihan nat naton brothers and sisters you know sometimes when god does not give us what he what we want is because or when god does not bless us as we expect don't fall asleep ha huh? this is very important when god does not bless us as we expect Oftentimes, it is because He has a greater blessing in view. May laing siya yung blessing, which is more precious than we think. Gaan ko na lang kamo example, ha? Actually, wala na. Nadula na ako sa outline ko. Never mind. Gaan ko kamo example. Ang mga Hudiyo, they were under the oppression of the Roman government. You remember? Grabe nga sa atin nila. And injustice under the power of, of Rome. Ano kinexpectar nila? Eh, nagpromisa ang ginoo sila. Nagpromisa ang ginoo nga mapadala man yung luwas, di ba? Di naman ito? Nagpromisa ang ginoo nga mapadala, Mesaya. But their understanding of the promise was wrong. Ang ilay ang pagkaintindi, political, Mesaya. Pag-abot sa Mesaya, karpintero! Not a governor, not a congressman, not a politician, not a powerful military commander. A, car- a humble carpenter who was born in a major. So when God fulfilled His promise and gave the great blessing, they did not appreciate it, they did not recognize it, they rejected it. And the problem is, we do not realize that oftentimes, When God does not bless us as we expect, amo na lang ang blessing. Paradoxical na, nga ha? Because it is during those times, often times, that you become closer to God. And you know what? The greatest blessing of all is not a new car, a new house, lots of food, or a beautiful wife, or a handsome husband, or whatever. The greatest blessing is God Himself. John, no, no, not John. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. Mayo kay King James Version eh. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. Then after that, one more verse and we will end with that. Wala niyo mga utod. Aside from the fact na uh, we, we are friends here, no? Gapang <laughs> mawilugid ko nga tanya ginoo nga I will really learn nga hindi magsingget magwali, no? Pero daw, oh, why not chansas na nalang may guru mo patay ko, eh? <laughs> Can we read this together? After these things, the word... Okay, uh, all together! After these things, the word of the Lord came up to Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. <laughs> What is the blessing? What is the message? What is the greatest blessing of all? I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. The message is God. And lastly, Psalm 73, and we will close here, our last verse, nga, praise the Lord, nagsanto sa aton kanta. Verses 25 to 26. Again, let us read this together, and we will close. Ging kanta ka ni Kagina. Psalm 73, 25 to 26. Let us read all together. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Do I have to add something more? Let us pray. Dear Father, Thank you for your word which reminds us that you are the greatest blessing of all. Thank you, O Lord, that you have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, 
through whom we can know you. Thank you that in and through him, we not only come to know you, but we receive forgiveness for our sins, salvation, and eternal life. Help us, Lord, especially during times of trial and suffering. Help us not to despair. Help us not to become bitter. Because in your mysterious ways, it is precisely during those times that we receive the greatest blessing of all. Closeness to you. Intimacy with you. All the more because of those trials and hardships and difficulties. You become more and more our portion forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray and the people of God say Amen, amen and Amen.